Hi everyone and welcome back welcome to another video of Uber Eats clone and we are building these services so in the last video we bootstrap our cart service what I will do is I will add another folder and we will call it as a delivery service okay delivery service so the couple of things I need to take care the environment and port uh, the port I'm saying it is going to run on 3003. The database is delivery API, let's say, and the port is 5439 for database. Okay, and I need to update my Docker Compose. Let's say for the Postgres cart, I have added this. Similarly, there is, a, there is another entry I will do for Postgres delivery service. okay same i need to add inside my docker compose override this is like another container we will be adding so we are doing containerized applications postgres delivery okay so the database name is delivery api and delivery api testing delivery api data this is the volume mapping and port mapping 3.9 is, is the host port and add the volume mapper here now if I do docker compose up I will have one more container with the postgres delivery so let's do that if uh, no any other container running on that port we should be able to have our database so it is delivery api on 5439 so update the environment variable 5439 delivery api so we are good here environment test okay so this is the delivery service i will update the package json scope This is for delivery service where delivery partner and all are involved. Now another service we have is the order service, right? So I'm just creating a clone of it and it's fun. This is order service. We are going to work on order service after the cart service. So for now we can bootstrap the containers. My system is good enough to handle n number of containers. 3004 and now the port for this will be let's say do we have 36 occupied 5433 maybe we can use this order api and somewhere also we are specifying this which is not good let's call it as 3004 This is 3004 order service and then delivery service is using 3003 3003 okay and inside a docker compose you will see what we need to update we have one more container postgres delivery then postgres order right now we have another service inside docker compose override at this entry of postgres order and this is order api and order api testing and the api volume is order api and the port we are specifying is 5433 let's see if it is not occupied let's search it if we have it no one is using it so we can use this for this container this is for order service PNV 5433 order API so we are good here so I'll see and then I will update the scope inside a package JSON this is order and now if I go to NX console I should be able to see all these applications cart delivery and order okay we are good for now let's focus on the cart service rest uh, we will take a look later because we are working on the cart apis right now 
and if you want we can spin up the containers currently we have these many containers this is for user restaurant delivery cart and if i do it one more time docker compose up okay order api volume data is not there right because i didn't add it so go to your docker compose file and order api data we didn't create the volume mapping for it and try docker compose up again and it's starting your containers so now we have all the required containers for our setup okay now we'll start working on the cart service let's uh, just remove all of these for now and then we will see how from the gateway we are able to access all these services okay for that we can do a simple demo what we will do is user service there is a default route api v1 everywhere right uh, ta -ta. So here we can say uh, because it's returning the type ORM status check. Here we could have uh, just put a message. Okay, I was thinking like uh, I will just use this proxy service and can return a hello world from uh, restaurant service, hello world from uh, order service. So we can also set up the routing at the proxy service level so here we need to create all these middlewares and we need to register the routes restaurant cart and auth so let's go to our cart service here we have auth module and cart module cart controller cart entity and cart service inside cart entity we have user id menu item id and menu item now how can we get the type of the menu item because we already know what we have in the menu item using a uh, restaurant service because there we were using these DTOs right and that DTO tells me everything so I was talking about this menu item DTO create restaurant this body DTO which contains all the required types with enums and all so how can we share the types I mean what we can do these are like uh, different services it's better that we put these types inside our types package which we have here inside types so we can i can just call uh, create a maybe a folder inside restaurant okay let's create a folder restaurant file or folder already exists let's create a because this belongs to this has been created in the restaurant service new folder and here i can just uh, add the typings index.ts and this is the types we don't need to import this uh, class validator and all I just want to add okay what all properties do we have inside this this is of cuisine type enum so I'm just creating interface export interface menu item Okay, what else we have this is the meal type is an enum so I'm just creating an interface from the existing DTO this is of type string this is of type string food type is an enum you can also expose all the enums which are there in this uh, and thumbnails is of type string array so we are good till now We need to find these enums, the custom types, right? So for that, we can just go. Let me remove this public, which we don't need. So this is, you can say we have added a new type, which we can use everywhere we want. And we have already 
some enums created which we can also make them exportable from these common typings okay so this is our menu item type and this menu item we are going to use everywhere so how we can export it because this is a package so we are saying export everything from restaurant index uh, we do we need to specify it okay so we are exporting whatever we have defined inside this so all these types will be available and we will just build this package this package we coming here the types and i will just build it and then we are specifying the dependency of the types everywhere inside even the cart also i will also build that so it will get the latest package of uh, typings let's see if the cart is using the types or not start service go to the packageation and here config types types we are using so how can we make sure that the updated types are available we can build the cart service so it will build all the dependent packages cart service and then here we have types each inside each you should have a types did we get that uh, okay we got it right this index.d.ts is available that means the types is available and we can use this menu item as a type inside this uh, cart service so inside source we have entity i mean as this uh, records are getting bigger and bigger right we can import menu item we can get it from the types right and this is going to be an array of objects so this is our menu item definition similarly count is number it's a json b this is our entity so when you start this application we already have a database connection it should be able to create this cart entity and created it updated it and deleted it controller so this is this is what we will consume you are logged in user you are adding the items to the cart I mean this is the constraint we have we are putting that you can add items to the cart only if you are logged in because we need to maintain the user session otherwise what happens if you if you are adding things uh, when you are not logged in then only the front end is managing it front end is just storing it in the local cache in local state management that okay you have added all these menu items and when you reload the page those things are gone because uh, you have added them in the without login your session doesn't exist so we, we won't be able to store that in the database or you can just push them to the local storage and when you reload it those cart menu items will populate again there are different strategies but here we are saying is users should be logged in and while adding the items to the cart so when you are adding it we will be hitting this api to store the menu items so this is create cart menu item entity dto so card DTO what it will have it will have a body I mean inside a card DTO you will pass the user ID restaurant ID and all these properties so create a card menu item item body DTO okay it would have only basic fields which is uh, user id we are getting from the session so we will just use restaurant id this is of type uuid is uuid and then it's string so we have a restaurant id as a payload property let's remove the other properties which we don't need because we copied it from other service so it has some data which we don't need so we have restaurant id and menu item id
this is also of type uid we can just check what do we have the attribute names here restaurant id menu item id and the menu item is actually menu items let's call it because it's a json array object and then we need to create a nested dto because this is a menu items this is of type menu items menu item array and here because here you are going to pass it as a json so we need to do the nested payload validation so let's create a dto for this we have a restaurant id menu item id and menu items right this menu items uh, we already have dto created for this in the restaurant service so what you can do is either you put in the types or just copy it from there restaurant this dto and then from the if it is there on the common types we can import it in any of the service so this is our cart service going to the cart dto and we will add this new type i mean existing type we'll import whatever is required add all missing imports okay so this create restaurant dash we'll just replace it with a with the name menu item body dto okay it has same properties and now we will do the nested payload validations here so how we do it this menu item would be would be of type an array so i will just say is array first of all if you are specifying then we can just also set min array size array min length i think array min size at least one menu items you would be adding in the cart okay is string we'll remove it is menu size i mean and then we have is validate nested validate nested it's coming from class validator because we are going to do the nested validation and then validate type which type what type we are validating against against this type and then menu items of an array okay menu item body dto so this is menu item body dto okay so we have nested payload validations this is we are passing menu item id restaurant id so this is what we are adding inside a cart so even if you are if you want to remove you will be putting either one menu item or a multiple menu item which you want to remove okay so i mean uh, you will be passing let's keep this as an object only because you will be adding only one menu item at a time inside the cart right so this is going to be age object and then uh, you can update means you can update a particular record or you will be passing the whole array let me think it's a little tricky the menu item is just like just like a json array that you wanted to uh, insert in the cart right so first of all you will click on one particular item and let's say i want to add that inside a cart then you will click on another item so you will be passing uh, individual items to add items inside a cart and then if you want to remove it what you will do is you will just say okay remove items and you will send this menu item inside this payload okay i think the array is object is fine because and then the array we already have a, it as a field so validate nested validation type this okay this is an object you we keep doing push when you are adding it and if you are just removing because there will be a single record in the database at a time for user id and restaurant id inside a cart and we will just do the push if you are removing it then we will just find that record and we will just remove there that particular menu item 
from the array inside a database okay so this is our create cart menu item id this is update will also have a same payload okay and then this dto we are going to use inside a cart controller so this is our dto create cart menu item body dto so i will just remove these descriptions and all for now then we'll add it this should be allowed to any user we just need to add the access token guard that means that user must be a login logged in api v1 cart so create cart menu add item to the cart add menu item to the cart this is my body payload body and then this is a user dto current logged in user and here we will call create cart menu item here we are passing user and the payload that's good okay inside service we are going to define this method user is user and the payload is of type this one So from user we will get the current logged in user and then we will construct a payload query runner we don't need really a query runner and all we don't need a event emitter so let's simplify it we'll just access the typo rm okay let's fix these imports which we don't need and then this is the cart repo we don't need connection so i will remove the stuff from here await let's remove everything okay so we got the payload here what we will do is we are going to create the cart menu item cart item equal to await this dot cart repo dot save so we just need to pass the payload here whatever we are saving so we are saving uh, all the payload items so i will just pass the payload and do we have anything inside payload uh it's all about payload so we can just pass the same payload cart entity and then payload is of type this so it's better if we do destructure this Okay, menu item body detail is missing the following length. Okay, I got the problem. So because inside the payload, what we are doing is we are doing push operation, right? So even before creating the cart menu item, let's first find out do we have already existing cart menu item for this user and restaurant ID? So here we will get the restaurant ID from this body. sorry for these typos here we are getting restaurant id okay this is payload so we are getting restaurant id and then cart menu item id restaurant id and user id is fine user id we will get from the user metadata we got the user id now const existing cart right so await this dot card repo maybe there is there is some keyboard issue on my laptop this dot card repo dot first of all we will do the find operation find one and what is our criteria where clause where restaurant id is this which we already have and user id Okay, why it is complaining? User ID is must. User ID is this user ID. Okay. So existing card, if it is there, if we have existing card, then we need to push the items, right? So we got the existing card. 
dot menu items which is an array and we need to use the same typings it should not be of menu item it should be of type menu item body dto and import this i mean both types are same both type are overlapping each other each and every property is same there so create menu item here we go to the service existing card dot menu items and then now you are adding something else so we can call new items equal to items items dot push and we will add the new menu item payload dot menu items it should also be menu item only why do we have menu items this is an object okay so inside the service we will just push it so we got the the new menu item and this is already existing card so what we did is existing card dot or menu items equal to the new items and what happened new items number is not assignable to okay it's okay sorry what we are doing push will return the number and then items so first of all we got the menu items and then inside that items we are doing push and then existing card dot save it should do our stuff i mean adding the new menu item if the cart already exists otherwise it's fresh we are creating right so await cart repo dot save so here we will just initialize the menu item const items equal to initialized with empty array and then uh, it's kind of a same logic dot push existing card dot save so i can even copy a couple of things from here and we can avoid the duplicate duplicates because these things are happening in both the places right okay items we can just have the items let items of type menu item there are some required property let's assign it as a menu item body dto okay now it's good items if it is a fresh we have no menu menu items added in the cart then we'll push this and menu items dot this and we save it okay that's good so we'll just return it whenever we are saving it just return it this is our simple create api and that is done now similarly what we will do is we will just create update delete operations so this is create now in update what will happen is you are updating a particular menu item might be increasing the count and all these uh, properties so we will just find the existing cart menu item we'll find the record and doing the map okay because you are passing the menu item id also inside this body dto you have to pass it's better if we take menu item body dto because this menu item has already been created so it's better we take the id also of this menu item id which is of string id which is a uuid so these apis are kind of uh, simple uh, so there are many ways we can construct it like this so it's api v1 cart right it's a http post it could have been something like okay because you are adding an item so you would pass the user id restaurant id
and then doing the post put delete instead of this we are just passing all those things inside a body so this is post which is like create new menu item if your cart uh, record already exists otherwise it will create it right similarly what we are doing is http put http delete so it's like simply array operation if array doesn't exist create a new cart for this restaurant id and this user id if you want to update a particular record inside a menu items let's say you want to remove a particular dish menu from your cart we will just do a put do the filter operation and we'll just update the menu items delete we will just remove that uh, menu item from the menu items array and we'll just save it so it's now like we are playing with single array for create update delete and also for the list if you want to just get the list here it is just like cart and we already know that if you are currently logged in user so for this user id just give me the cart items cart object which will contains the menu items right so it's like http get so these are the apis uh, i'm thinking to construct which is very simple let's get rid of all these things so put post delete first of all this is our post and i will just do a get which will say is list menu items list user cart this is put update user cart this is delete delete or clear user cart maybe because if you want to uh, update a menu item okay it should be you need to be smart here because maybe user wants to delete only one menu item right so it's delete uh, update it's similar like update but in update user might might wants to update a menu item count right so there should be two apis we need delete is just only removing a particular menu item from the cart delete user menu item menu item cart okay this is delete api and then which there is should be another api which is cart clear i mean we can just create it another route which is cart and clear which is delete clear user cart which will just remove the records uh, with that restaurant id and user id delete is not exist update imports now let's go from top what we are doing here is add menu items to the cart so it will check if it is not there then it will create the menu item record cart record and it will add here it is get uh, list all the user items so what i need is just a user object list user cart and i just need to know only who is the the logged in user and i can just simply do it my existing cart otherwise i will return empty so it is simply returned i will just get my user id from the user so i'm just doing simple where clause and returning it list user item cart this is list user item and the status code should be okay we'll update the api description and all this is protected then put which is like updating this menu item uh from the cart so update cart menu item where you want to just update a particular property like maybe the count is the only thing we update I will just copy this thing. Update cart menu items. You will hit only if you have already have something in the cart, right? 
so you are already have a restaurant id you will be passing restaurant id menu item id and all and there are two cases if existing cart is not there then here we will just throw not found exception so new not found exception otherwise you have the existing cart what i need to do is i need to find which cart you want to update so you will be passing me menu item id id which you will get from the payload and menu item also so we get everything now we need to get the updated menu items so what we will do is we will just do simple filter or sorry map so we got the existing cart dot menu items dot map if we got a match we just need to replace it uh, with the id i dot id equal to menu item id if this is the case then return the payload which we have received for the update i will just replace the whole payload otherwise return uh, the record itself so this is updated menu items we will just replace it because this is again an array updated menu items with the particular index is updated and we will just save it what happened the menu items is of an type array updated menu items why it is complaining created cart menu item body dto okay so okay payload oh no not payload uh, we need to return payload dot menu item this is save so similarly we have a delete delete will also do the same i i could have wrote one single method delete cart menu item and the menu item id is enough we don't need to check okay all these properties are optional so update cart menu item body here also we can use the update dto so these are like partial And then uh, we just need menu item id if the menu item id is there so in here instead of map we will do the filter filter where i not equal to this menu item id and we will just return only those items okay. now this is good uh, these are the updated menu items we just need to return only those menu items which are not equal to the menu item id which you have which you are passing in the body and we save it so this is the cart service very simple service now we'll focus on the order service i will just expose these apis and then we will talk about the order service uh, in the coming video